The chainsaw is an efficient tool, but it can also be dangerous if used incorrectly. That's why safety must always come first. Your clothing is a very important part of this. Even if you're just cutting some firewood outside the back door of your house, you must use the personal protective equipment that is required in your country. The best items of equipment are highly visible, ventilated protective jacket and trousers fitted with saw protection. Of course, protective equipment cannot prevent an accident from occurring, but it can help to reduce the extent of the injury. You should also have boots with a steel toe cap, saw protection and a heavy tread. And a helmet, of course, with a full coverage visor and hearing protection. Make sure you've got a first aid kit readily accessible and it's a good idea to carry a mobile phone and a whistle so that you can call for help easily if something happens. Protect your hands with a pair of strong gloves and if possible bring someone with you when you work especially if you're inexperienced. Take your time to get acquainted with the saw so that you have a good idea of how it works and so you know its most important parts, in particular the ones that have to do with safety. The throttle control is on the inside of the rear handle. To prevent accidental throttle advance when you squeeze the throttle control, you must also depress the throttle lock on the top of the handle. On the bottom of the saw is the chain catcher, which catches the chain if it breaks or derails. If such an accident with the chain were to occur, your right hand would be protected by the right hand guard on the bottom of the handle. With the easy access stop control, you can stop the engine quickly. The chain brake stops the chain in the event of a kickback. It can be triggered in two ways. One, by the user's hand pushing the kickback protection forward, and two, by the inertial forces that arise during a kickback. Kickback can occur during most types of operations due to lack of care. It's when the force of the rotating chain throws the saw in line with the bar, usually upwards and backwards. Kickback is caused by the saw contacting something with the upper part of the bar nose. Never make the saw kick back intentionally. If the chain isn't new, it might be a good idea to file it, since cutting is both easier and safer when the chain is sharp. Also, make sure the chain is tensioned properly. Don't forget that a new chain should always be retensioned after operating the saw for a short period. When filling the saw with fuel and chain oil, place the saw on a stable surface. To reduce dangerous emissions, choose environmental petrol and vegetable-based chain oil. The overfill protection helps you avoid unnecessary spillage and considering the risk of fires, you should always move the saw before starting it. It's good to work together with someone, but make sure they're at least five meters away when you start to use the saw. When felling trees, this distance should be far greater. When you're ready to start, place the saw flat on the ground and clear the area around the bar. Activate the chain brake by pushing the kickback protection forward, as otherwise the chain will start to rotate when the saw starts. Depress the smart start decompression control if the saw has this feature. If the engine is cold, pull the choke all the way out. Put your right foot part way through the rear handle and hold the front handle firmly with your left hand. Pull the starter handle with your right hand until the engine starts. Now push the choke in again with the throttle on halfway. Continue to pull the starter handle until the saw starts. Hit the throttle once so that the engine speed drops to idle. If the engine's already warm, don't use the choke, but the other steps are the same. 
If the saw's difficult to start despite being warm, pull out the choke like you do during the cold start, but push it back in right away. When you've got the saw started, don't disengage the chain brake until you're ready to saw. Now check that the chain brake works. Place the saw on a stable surface and squeeze the throttle. Activate the chain brake by pushing your left wrist against the kickback protection without releasing the handle. The chain should stop straight away. Also check the chain lubrication. Hold the saw against something light in colour such as a stump and hit the throttle. A line of oil should then be visible on the surface.